next step and see investments for this terrific award. Stephen, what a performance, but what a game. What did you make of it? It was a terrific game and uh, this award is obviously a testament to my players and their performance and the way they went about things. You know, it was obviously a difficult afternoon for ourselves playing our first game at Northampton. Uh, you know, and it was an ideal situation, but uh, you know, the players deserve great credit for their performance and the way they went about things. You know, obviously, being 3 0 up at half time, you were hoping for a comfortable afternoon's work, but uh, it wasn't to be, and credit to Bristol City. You know, they reacted in a positive manner in the second half, they got themselves back in the game at the level of 3 3. But again, credit to my players, they showed that resilience and that courage to go on and win the game. And, uh, in terms of an advert for the league, it was a, a wonderful game of football. Going 3 0 up, did you feel like you felt, sort of had it in the bag early doors? No, you know, and I made that perfectly clear to the players at half time. It was quite ironic. I'd been watching the TV the, the previous night, and it was the, the Premiership years, and it was the game Tottenham Hotspur against uh, Manchester United, where Tottenham Hotspur were 3 0 up at half time and lost the game 5 3. So it's amazing how football can change, and once the momentum changes, it's difficult to turn it back. But uh, you know, that's why I'm so delighted with the players. But it wasn't just the, the, the score line, it was the level of performance, you know, the way we passed the ball, the way we countered at speed and the intensity of our pressing game that really pleased me. But, uh, you know, both sides contributed to a wonderful game of football. You came back to level it twice. What was going through your mind at 4 all? Well, I was just the way to make a, a change, a positive change. I was just the way to put on another striker because it's the predicament we are in. It's vital that we win games if we can get the three so that was that was going to be my decision. But then we scored the fifth goal and I, I made a slightly different tactical decision. I, I put on a defender to see the remaining part of the game out. But uh, you know, from a neutral's point of view, a wonderful game. From uh, from our point of view, a terrific result. But uh, you know, hopefully in the future, less nerves. Going, um, getting that winner sort of right at the death there. It kind of shows that your team at the moment have a never give up attitude, and that's the character they're going to need to. You know, really close that points deficit, isn't it? Oh, without doubt, you know, and I'd been saying prior to, to the Bristol City game, our, our opening two games of the season, we've been terrific at both of them. Yeah. You know, the cup game and the, the, the first league game, and we've been behind in many games, we've been faced with adversity in many games. The game in midweek against Leighton Orient, we were reduced to 10 men, we got ourselves back in the game with a penalty 10 minutes from the time that potentially could have won us the game. But the players are playing with such a spirit and togetherness, and that comes from the age of the group. We're a very, very young team. You know, we're predominantly very much academy based, and when you get that, you get a real togetherness and a real energy about your squad. You know, many of the players that come through your systems, you know, have a real affiliation for your football club, and uh, I think it's been very evident. You look throughout Europe just now, some of the real success stories are very much based around academy clubs. You know, even Borussia Dortmund, Barcelona's of this world, they're all producing really top level young players, and, uh, and like I've said, they, they Play, uh, with, a, with a great deal of feeling towards your football club. You probably want to see some improvements defensively going <laughs> forward, but how much did that win lift yourself, the players and the fans? Well, winning games of football breeds confidence, there's no doubt about that. You know, I said that the task this season, the first task would be to, to get confidence within a group of young players. And the first two performances, I think we gained a lot of confidence from. But obviously, the winning of the game against one of the title favourites was a was a brilliant result for ourselves. Um, and the next phase has to be trying to avoid relegation. If we do that, then it's been a successful season. And anything on top of that would be a real bonus. And what about playing your home games away from home, um, technically, at the sixth field? Did it affect the, the lads going into this game and, and will it affect them going forward? Well, looking at the performance, no, it didn't affect them, but it's not the ideal situation. You know, uh, it, for the players, they know their responsibilities, they know what it takes and they know it's about winning games of football. But the most difficult part of this is for our supporters. You know, only a thousand of our own supporters turned up at the weekend and it's not easy for them. You know, it's been far from the ideal situation and we, we have complete sympathy for them at the moment. But, uh, you know, if we can continue playing with that energy and with that excitement, then hopefully we can make them proud again. And if you keep scoring five goals every game, you'll probably see a lot more through the game, won't you? Well, I certainly hope so.